Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. Today I will be sharing a very unique paratha recipe that is a winter special recipe also. I am going to make garlic greens paratha. Very tasty and very very healthy to keep watching. So far you have watched the video and I am sure you like it too. Definitely give a thumbs up. It does not cost you anything but it makes a big difference to my channel. Fruits and vegetables are very important to add in your daily meal plan for good health. However, I add lot of fruits and veggies in school tiffin box. If you have seen school tiffin box videos, I will be adding fruits and veggies in different ways. But over the weekend, it is very difficult to add into the diet. Everybody easily whenever they are hungry they will jump into some of the junk items like chips, cookies or any savory items. But if you cut the fruits this way and keep which is very easy for everybody to grab and go. I am sure everybody will love to have fruits and these kinds of cucumbers, even celery all these type of things are very very great to just enjoy any time whenever you feel hungry. This weekend there was overloaded variety of fruits at home and I want to enjoy everybody all different kinds of fruits I have here. So I am just giving it a nice good clean wash and chopping them so that everybody can munch them easily all day long. I will just make a plate full of fruits of this kind and I will keep it on the table. So all day long whenever we feel hungry this will be very good to go. That orange fruit which I cut right it is persimmon very different and very delicious fruit if you happen to come across in your local market sure give it a try very sweet and very tasty even the peel we eat of it's not very hard they are soft only. Now let's quickly jump into our recipe of the day that is I am going to use the very unique ingredient that is garlic greens. This is lesson ki patiya. Uh, I have not come across this ingredients often but my friend when she has cleaned her backyard she had lot of this garlic greens in her backyard and she shared with us thanks to her for today's video is revolving around this ingredient only. And this recipe is also a winter special recipe. I was thinking what to make. She told she made parathas. Then I thought okay let me also try the same garlic paratha. But the recipe is my own. I am sure you will also like it. These garlic greens are little bit hot to your body. That is why it is winter special. It will give nice heat to your body. It is very tasty too. Garlic flavor is generally in all um, variety of recipes it gives extra taste that's how these parathas are also very unique and very tasty soft and very delicious recipe I'm sure you all will like it look at this now all this garlic is nicely cleaned I have cut them and nicely wash it because it is from the backyard right so we have to double time wash them now you see I am using all the green garlic and the light pale white color garlic itself everything together I will be using in the recipe nicely you have to finely chop so that it will not be falling apart while you are mixing in the dough those who don't have these garlics in your local market just simply go with either palak or methi prata like you can make the same recipe you can follow see you you can see one full bunch of garlic leaves in that i have taken one and a half cup of wheat flour and one cup of maida salt to taste zira and ajwain La, one one teaspoon and one teaspoon of chili flakes also now i am adding two to three tablespoon of ghee you can also add melted butter and yogurt little runny watery yogurt will be there right little sour also it's okay that is full one cup i have used now i used one half to two glass of water and nicely mix it 
now you can see the dough is not going to be too tight don't keep the dough very hard because if the dough is hard right these garlic greens all will fall apart they will not come together in paratha that's a tip for all of you and definitely add ghee and yogurt the ghee and the yogurt will keep your parathas very very soft even the parathas are left over right next day also those parathas are going to be super soft just like the fresh ones only for me either it be dosa or paratha i make them with cast iron cast iron the heat will be nicely retained and evenly the heat will be all over the tawa like that only i use nice big tawa you can see i will be making these parathas in two different shape one is normal round shape which i usually make and also the other one also square paratha we previously i made uh, square parathas and showed right the same recipe only today i am going to same shape and the same pattern only i am going to do you can see it is very easy and uh, after applying the oil definitely sprinkle some flour that will keep your layering very prominent even after frying the layers will be nicely coming out okay for those who all don't have this garlic cleaves i told you can either do with methi or palak right instead of that you can also use garlic itself just take fresh garlic grate it add it along with that add some coriander or parsley and you are good to go you will get the same effect or even you can add spring onions also into it everything will give the same effect and i just can't explain to you how very good these parathas were it was first time for me this ingredients otherwise i used to make methi paratha and all often i make it but garlic greens first time taste was also very nice these parathas i serve with either achar and um, yogurt raita that also i will show you in a little while side by side when i was making parathas right i started making yogurt also for yogurt always remember nicely heat the milk full you can see the milk is getting heated up by the side even if you keep the milk full right it should become 3/4 that much you nicely heat the milk then your yogurt will be thick very thick in now i am making square paratha both the shapes are very good you can try both whichever you like here in canada the weather is very very cold so this recipe is perfect for this weather and weather appropriate too look at the paratha i will show you how soft it is see if i just hold it right very easily it will be just getting folded up so soft it is i had to keep them very gently they were getting torn and they were falling apart that soft it was see the yogurt i tell you 2 to 3 days once i make yogurt at home now only this much yogurt is left i will leave little yogurt for making fresh batch and the rest all i will be using as raita for these parathas only one spoon is also enough for making the yogurt now you can see the milk is warm only warm means if you keep your finger inside you can resist it for a long time that warm it is nicely i will give it a good mix and i will keep this inside the oven with light on always i have told you 4 to 5 hours only i will leave it in the oven after that instantly i will keep it in the fridge that is more than enough this bundi raita is very popular in our house easily instantly if you have this bundi with any kind of meal by the side i keep this bundi raita easily see the layers can you see how beautifully in round paratha itself you can see the layers and softness i just can't explain you you have to feel it very very soft parathas i made this both for lunch and dinner today only one recipe for all day long at one stretch i made lot of parathas together for both lunch and for dinner so i was done for the day 
at the end of the day the fruits plate was also almost empty in that also you can see the oranges which i did not peel right that is left that means whatever you peel and keep everything easily which can be consumed everybody will have it happily i'm sure you like this video if you like my videos do like share and subscribe to my channel let tasty be happy